this is a fantastic place, Finland. I don't know if anyone's been to Finland. Finland is great. It's nature personified. Lakes, pine trees, total quiet and total silence. It's one of the most relaxing places I've ever been. We stayed in this little um, hut at the back here and this is their sauna and they're obsessed by their sauna or, or sauna. And the idea, as you know, is that you get really hot in the sauna and then you jump in the lake. And it sounds horrendous, but actually it's, it's, it's fantastic. And I met this guy, who look, kind of looks like a Finn. looks like you might imagine a Finn. And as you can tell by his light meter and his cameras, he's a wildlife fanatic, a wildlife photographer. And um, he took us to this little hide here. And a hide's a grand term. It's actually just a, just a garden shed tiny little bits of wood slotted together and a bit of um, camouflage um, slung over it. And I went in with my wife and he said, you will stay here all night and you will be completely and utterly quiet. Get everything organized before I leave so you don't have to move or make any noise and I'll come back and I'll pick you up in the morning. And the reason for that, which is by the way, on the Russian Finland border, there's no man's land. There's five kilometers of no man's land between Russia and Finland, which people are rarely allowed in. And the reason is this, the brown bear. And I had no idea that you could see huge bears like this in Europe. Um, some of the bears that came down were as much as 80 stones, which is a massive, massive bear. They also have wolves there. So we were sat there in the night watching the bears and the wolves coming down, which was incredible. About two o'clock in the morning, I thought the final bear had left, went to sleep, and was woken up by the worst heavy breathing. And just right outside of our shed was the most enormous bear. And when I looked through a hole, which had been made to put the camera through, all I could see was its fur. I couldn't even see the, the uh, outside of the um, bear. Quite a terrifying, terrifying moment, but an extraordinary experience. This guy's called Erpo and he is another local guide. You can see a bit of a theme for my presentation. It's often about finding out and searching out these extraordinary people who can show you their homes in a way which is different from just passing through like a tourist, traveling like a local. And this guy is a farmer, um, but he can't afford to farm full time, so he takes people out canoeing, looking for beaver um, on part of his farm, which we did. He's also a moose hunter, which you may or may not approve of, but it's fascinating to learn the Finns' cultural association and heritage with, uh, with moose. And we came out from this um, area where the beavers had been uh, making their dam, which is very dense and, um, and wooded and, um, um, and dammed up, into this huge open expanse. Here there are no noise, no noise at all. I could hear the most minutest sound, even just a leaf falling from a tree. Uh, was, I could hear, 20, 30 metres away. There was no planes overhead, totally silent. And we canoed across this lake, complete wilderness, on these rocks. We sat up and he made a fire and told us stories of moose hunting. It was a really, really great day. It's strong in my memory, um, even now.